Hi. In this video, I will show you how to move and spin object with just a material. Let's begin. Okay, in the previous video, we created our billboard facing camera. Now we will create rotation and movement for this arrow. I created this arrow in the Blender, but it will work with any mesh you would like. Just make sure that your pivot location it's right in the middle between left and right sides and here for example on x-axis as well it's in the middle of the left and right because basically we will use this pivot point for rotation and if your pivot point is shifted to the side somewhere it basically your whole mesh will rotate around that pivot point so it won't rotate around the center of itself but around something else so make sure it's in the center Okay, so let's create material. I will just call it so I understand. Later on, I want to convert all of that into material functions. Let's create material instance from that. And drag and drop it on arrow. I will have it here on the side when I will create so I can preview. Okay, so usually we're using such object as a hologram, they not affected by the light. So I will change it to unlit. First, I want to see it better. So I will add color. Let's change it to parameter. If I will connect this color directly to the emissive, let's change color. You see, it actually loses all details. We just see pure color. Basically, we see silhouette but no edges, front edges here. In this case, Fresnel can help us. So we can multiply it with Fresnel. If you want to play with that, you can create scalar parameters and call it exponent, for example, and fraction. I already know my numbers, so I won't create the scalar parameter. I advise you to use this and then you can in material instance adjust that and see what's better works for you. You see, now we have all these details back. So first I will create movement up and down. So we need time, multiply with a scalar, will be our movement speed. Or actually, I will call it just speed because I will use the same for the rotation. Let's leave it as one. Then I will use sign, but I need sign remapped. And in here, I will just set it to go between zero and one. Now I will use multiply. In here, I will add color, but it's actually a vector freer. So we have X, Y, Z. So we can use it as a color or for the values on the, or directions. In our case, now it's direction. So I will use it to move up and down. So this is a Z axis, but I will convert this to parameter. Let's call it movement direction. And finally, I need movement distance. This is basically how far from origin this arrow will go. And it's already working. So now, in material instance, we have our speed, we have our distance. We can put way higher. Keep in mind, same as with billboard, if we will go to visibility collision, you see our arrow still there in the same place. And if we won't render the arrow, original arrow. Our arrow, which we're moving through the material, will actually disappear as well, see? Because basically CPU thinks that we're not seeing this object anymore and it optimizes our rendering, so it removes this object from the rendering. But in our case, this is actually bad, but we can't do anything about that. So just make sure you're basically accounting for that when you're trying to move your object like really too far. 
So we can just put it maybe like that. Let's say 40. And then we have speed. Okay. So if we lower, it will be really, really slow. And then we can put it really high. It will be like this. Let's keep it maybe 0 0.5. And then we have our direction. So as I said, now it goes up and down. We can set it to the sides or forward and backwards. So this one is done. For the rotation, I want to reuse my time and uh, I will have that our arrow can continuously spin or it will spin a little bit to the left and then it returns and spins to the right and again to the left, just like that. So for that sign, it's perfect. So I will need sign. But for continuous rotation, I don't want sign. I want just time. Instead of again creating spaghetti here with these wires, I will just create a real root node. And I will call it sign time. Because this is time which works together with a sign. And then, yeah, I want speed. But I don't want sign. So in here I will create another one calling just time. So what we need, we need rotate about axis. Then we need normalize rotation axis. So it's pretty much same thing as here. So we can create our color node, then convert to parameter and call it rotation axis and set blue. It says normalized, so we need to do that and add normalized. Now for the rotation angle, we need our time and we need our sign time. For the time, I will just need frag. What fraction basically does, it resets. And I will create static switch parameter. Continuous rotation. So this one will be continuous rotation. And this one will be not. So now we need divide. This is basically to slow down a little bit our speed. Because as I said, I want to use same. It's just not to create many similar parameters. But then I already tested, you can test for yourself, that this speed, in my case for the rotation, it was like too fast, but dividing by 10, it makes it really good. So then it means with one parameter, I can control and rotation and movement. And now we need to add how much we want to rotate in one direction and then another direction. It's basically angle, rotation, angle. And let's connect this to the angle. By default, I will set it maybe to 10. Now, pivot point. This is our object pivot point. And then position, it is world position. And that's it. So if we will connect this to world position offset, there we go. So you see, by default, I have switched off continuous rotation. So this is what I meant. With a sign, it goes left and then it goes right. And I can change how much it should go. And I just speed. Nice. We can have it really, really fast. And then we can enable continuous rotation. And here, pay attention. You see, as I said, this fraction, it's actually restarts our time. And you see, it's really, really visible. This is because of the angle. So to avoid this, you need to set angle 
every five. So for example, five or 10. See, and there is now no issue at all. Can make it spin really fast or slow. And again, rotation axis. We can change it. Okay, so now it rotates around the Y. And this way, it's around the X. So this is pretty much it. Now what we can do, let's first comment this. Now we can just use add to add them together and connect to world position offset. And we have it. For example, we can again set it to movable, attach to our character. Let's set all this to zero. Move it maybe a little bit like that and like this. And we have indicator for our character. We have now UFN Creators Discord community, so feel free to join us. You can find a link in the description or in the channel header. I hope you found this video helpful and if you're interested in learning more, you can subscribe and click on the bell to not miss my future videos. If you enjoyed this video, please click a like button and feel free to leave a comment. See you soon.